After School Program is a program that was developed through the collaboration of several community groups. DFACS, Department of Family and Children's Services, uh, had funding in order to support after school programs in our schools. As soon as we found out about that, we jumped at the opportunity. Burdell Hunt is one of the few elementary schools that does not have an after school program in place and we felt that this would be a perfect opportunity for us to provide for those children. They provide academic support as well as uh, extracurricular activities. The children, are they learning from this experience? Yes, uh, we are getting a lot of positive responses from the children. They enjoy this uh, extended learning time and when the after school school program is ideally is an extension of the school day. This is an opportunity for them to catch up on things they might not have gotten during the regular day, but they also get to work on other things such as art, PE, and conflict resolution. Do they give them, do they help them with their homework? Or? Yes, and we do work with homework, uh, homework support as well as trying to help them with other tasks that they might not have gotten during the regular school day. My name is George Vanilla and, and I want... Tell us what, what you like about the after school program. What I like about after school program is we get to do conflict resolution, learn how to situate our problems, we, we get to eat dinner and eat snacks, we get to do our homework, and we do a great, a great grade on there on our homework, then we have some fun on science and sometimes and on Fridays we have fun with Mr. Rudy coming and on Mondays we um Miss Butterfly shows us that what we can make with some garbage and and we know and we and we know new vocabulary words vocabulary words with Mr. Rudy and Mrs. Butterfly Hawk. My name is Justina Daniels and what I like about after school program is the art, um, how you get to learn new things. With Miss Butterfly Hawk we learn how to reuse recycled paper and it can, you can turn it into art. With Mr. Rudy, we learn new art things like using pastels and um, um, other stuff, um, mosaics, and we do a lot of fun stuff um, in after school program and conflict resolution. Um, we just have we talk about our problems. We share what was our problems, and we um, we try to solve our problems um, and. Uh, and we try to help each other out after school program and that's what I love about after school program. My name is Jaquia Sanders and what I like about after school program is that we get to do um, different activities like we get we get to go to Mr. Rudy and um, do mosaics and make art I like like sheet paper and stuff like that and then we get to go to Butterfly Hawk and she teaches us how to make art out of um, recycled materials. And um, we get to go, we get to eat good, delicious snack and dinner. Um, we we get to do our homework in, before we get home, so we won't have to do it at home. I like to come to after school, I like about after school um, because in our class, um, the teachers help us with our um, work in classroom, like social studies, and it helps us with with our work and with this and with the um, CRCC test. Very good. We have some great artisans that come into our after school program that work with the kids on. Uh, art skills, but it really gives her cognitive thinking skills. We have Butterfly, Butterfly Hawk, she's Khadija Mir actually, but the kids like to call her Native American name, Butterfly Hawk. And we have Rudy Mendez from the Tubman Museum that comes in every Friday and works with mosaics with the kids. We had um, we have a mimer tomorrow coming, Mr. Rozier, he does, he's going to do movement and miming with the kids. Uh, we've had a scientist come in um, working with kids, but I really think art and cultural and um, 
kind of fun activities helps the kids really enjoy learning and have a passion for learning that transcends in the school day, not just after school. They also get more excited to go home and talk to their families about it. And I have the parents coming in and asking, hey, my kids are talking about Butterfly Hawk this and Rudy this and what's going on with this after school program? So it's really exciting. The kids are starting to see people in the community that are vested in their achievement as, um, as scholars. So it's pretty cool to see that. What's the school program having in this school? It is having a great uh, impact in the school. Um, it helps students um, extend their enjoyment of learning um, beyond the regular school day, which ends at 3.15. How, how does the after school program work? What time does it start? It starts as soon as school is over, usually around 3.15. The children leave the real school, go to the after school. They uh, have, have refreshments. They do a little physical education. They do their homework. The teachers ensure their homework's done. Uh, wonderful Principal Allen at Burdell Hunt. I mean, if anybody wants to see a principal, go to Burdell Hunt and see the principal. She's, she's the best, one of the best. She reminds me of my principals that I had years ago. When she walks in a room, everybody notices, the children notice. She is so progressive and interested in doing anything in her community for these children. Is it your goal to have after school programs in most sections of the city? Every grammar school, every grammar school. We can't afford not to. You know, we know that children that attend after school are 70% more likely to graduate from high school. Think about what our rate is now for high school graduation. We know that children that attend after school are 60% less likely to become teen parents. Look at our teen parent rate. And, and you realize in Macon, our teen parent rate is increasing at the age of 9 through 11, not 13 through 16. I mean, we have nine-year-olds pregnant now. And I, I mean, those children should be playing with dolls. They shouldn't be having a real baby to play, uh, play dolls with. But that's what's happening in our community. And our community needs to wake up and do something. And, and why have this money and not spend it? What happens? Kids normally get out of school. They go home to an empty home. That's right. An empty house. Right. Right. And, and, and right. That's what happens. And you know, it, it happens just like the child we lost two weeks ago, killed. Uh, no supervision or abuse or not knowing what children are doing. And we know when people are poor, it's hard. It's hard to be poor. And it's hard to overcome uh, bad situations when you're poor. I mean, what is a mother going to do when she works at McDonald's and she can't get daycare? other than leave the children at home. I mean, her choices are very limited. So why shouldn't the community support to do something positive with these children? Plus, in Macon, children don't have anything to do. What do they do in the afternoon but get into trouble? How many different organizations and different people that are working with you on this situation, this problem? Uh, you know, this is the first time that uh, in my career, and I've had a long career, where all the major agencies are working together. And I really, we have a steering committee, Judge Brown, Ms. Juanita Jordan, and a lot of the responsibility for, I think, us working together goes to them. We have River Edge Mental Health. We have Physical Health, Ms. Mary Alexander. We have uh, Jimmy Samuel, whom I could not do any pro I mean, he allows all these programs to go on at DOC. We have a uh, judge of juvenile court. We have, have the main team players are there playing. And of course, the Board of Education, Ms. McGee has joined us now. And of course, she's the most important partner. Because, because without the Board of Education, you couldn't do this. <laughs>